In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to take an image and trace it to convert it into an object that we cut, cut out with our machine. So I'm going to start off with my um, blank work area and I'm going to bring an image in. So this is an image that I've already saved. So I'm going to go into File and Open. I've got it located here in uh, on my desktop, but you'd need to locate it wherever it is that you've saved it. So I've got the Qualtex logo, select that and click OK. It's going to bring it into my work area. Um, as it's done that, it's uh, adjusted some of my work area, so it's changed the orientation. Um, not not a, a major disaster, we can readjust that. I'm going to select that and put my arrow into its standard position for us, so it's pointing up and that's how it goes in the machine. Although it has adjusted the image there, so I'm just going to rotate that around as well. So I just select it on that green dot there, rotate it around, press my shift key to help snap it, so it then realigns it so it's nice and straight. So it's in a familiar work area, so I'm comfortable with how I'm working. I can adjust the image uh, as I wish, but just remember when you adjust certain images, depending on the type of image that it is, it may affect its quality. Uh, something that we need to be aware of because the better the quality of the image, the better the trace will be. But I'm happy with this image. I can now look at tracing it. If I don't trace it, it, it can't do anything with it. It can't see any of these lines. And what I mean by that is I'll show you on the send screen. So let's switch over to our send screen. And you can see that none of this area is lit up red. It's, it can't see anything. It can't distinguish what this image is. So we'll go back to our design. We're going to go on to the trace tool here. That's this one. We select it. And we've got the option, first of all, to select trace area. So we're going to select that. And that gives us the cursor so we can highlight. Now we can select this whole object, or we could just select a part of it. Okay, so let me just redo that. Let me um, undo so you can see what I mean. So we go select trace area, and if I want to just the cue, I could highlight that as well. So I could select elements of the image that I want. Sometimes that's not always possible. This one's great because the queue is separate from the rest of it. But if, let's say, for instance, let's adjust the dimensions of this, let's try and get just the Qualitex text. Let's bring it round, readjust its size. So I'm trying to get that Qualitex. But unfortunately, because of the way the bottom of the queue and the X come down, no matter how close I adjust it, I want to catch these bits here. That's not a problem. That's something we can adjust afterwards. So I'm going to take the whole thing. So re-highlighted. Now the yellow is an indication of what it can see. There is various thresholds and options that we can adjust here. Uh, one of the other useful tools within this software now as well, if you go up to the help menu at the top there is actually a tutorial section and this gives you a little bit of a better step by step as well as to what all these little bits do um, generally speaking though we can adjust these so it can see our work and we want it to be yellow it cleanly um, as we adjust them it lets it go right the way down you'll see as it's down here it can't see this black outline anymore so it lets me adjust it until I get it where I can see it happy, I'm happy with that, it's a nice clean edge. I've got other options there, I don't need to do this for this one, it's a lovely clean image that has that crisp definition between the colours black and white so we can see the edges very well. Once I've got it coloured in yellow and I'm happy, I've got my options down here, we've got trace, trace outer edge, trace and detach. Trace is the one we want, because we want to trace the outer edges of all the lines as well as inner edges. So that means if we went around the text, we want to see this edge as well on the inside. Trace outer edge wouldn't see these parts on the inside of the text, so it's important that we go for the trace. Trace and detach, is, that actually affects the image. It can cut out that image from the white background that it's on. Not something that we use, but a very useful and powerful tool. But for what we want to achieve now is this trace tool. So I'm going to just left mouse on that, select it, and that's it, it's done. We can now select the image and move it to one side, and you see we have the red lines now. So if we go to our send screen, whereas before it couldn't see the image, now we have all the red lines. So it's 
it's going to cut or attempt to cut all of those. You'll see though that some of the little parts of that are quite integrate and sometimes depending on the quality of the image and how we trace it they're not always successful but we can fix and adjust those. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom into these areas here so you can see what I mean is I'm going to use the zoom function at the top and I'm going to select the, the mouse zoom so select that and I can actually create a square around the area that I'm interested in looking at and it'll zoom right into that. So you can see on the Qualitex logo it's very clean whereas the TM mark isn't clean. So what we can actually do is remove it or adjust it and add in some text to fix that. So before I remove it I'm going to go to my text tool, select it, place my text down and just do two replacement letters. I can pick a font that I'm happy with, that I feel is as close to it as I can and I can just lay it over the top temporarily just to readjust its size. There we go, I feel that matches that one pretty good, so let's just move that out of the way for the moment. Highlight the original work, you can't see it's highlighted because the box is actually around it which is out of uh, view. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see it, so you can see that it, I've highlighted the area. I'm just going to go onto my right mouse button now, I'm going to go right mouse click, and this is the important one here, release compound path. And what that does is it detaches all the elements. The software sees this as one piece at the moment, but we're going to break it down in, into its component parts. So I'm going to select that, and now we've got boxes around everything. Everything is individual, so I can take this piece away, I'm going to do undo, just to put that back, but I could take something out the middle of the letter, I could take any of the letters away, so it's unlocked all of the different components. So now, let us zoom back in, I'm going to select that one, delete, and I'm going to select that one, delete. I can now bring this in, and there's my quick replacement. And I'm going to zoom back out. If you're zooming out for full screen, we can use the full screen fit to window option. Select that, and it gives it. So you can see we can fix things very easily. Additionally, we can remove things. So if we don't want this website at the end, we can delete that. Also, we can move things away. So let me just take some of these objects and we can move it all out the way. So let me separate that and we'll have that as two separate parts. Now I've separated them, it's a little bit tricky to operate with them because they're all separate. So let me undo that, put it back in a position. If I highlight the bits that I want to glue back together, highlight them, right mouse click, and we can do make compound path. So we can now fix it back together. So now that's one piece and I'll do the same again for the top section, highlight that over, right click and make compound path. So now we have two separate objects that will resize in proportion with all the different elements within there, but we can make, detach, rejoin anything within an image um, with that very useful release and make compound path tool. So these two objects there now were both cut, so if I've got my send screen, you can see that they're both highlighted. Sometimes when we create an image though, we might have something in our work area that we don't want to cut. All we need to do is just move it to one side, and now even though it's on our document, it's not within our work area, so when we do the send, it won't cut it. It's not glowing, it's out of the cut area, so we can have extra pieces of work that we might be using as reference, or parts that we just don't want to cut on this occasion, and we just push them and pop them to one side there. So you've got really big work area to work in, so you can see here, you zoom out, you've got so much work area, but the part in the middle is the cut area, and that's the important section where we align things prior to cutting them out.